News Talk 1110 WBT presents the Saturday Night Special. Live local talk with Ike Jackson. Good music production. 10 a.m. News Talk Radio. This is the Ike Jackson Report, part of the Saturday Night Special. You see him? You still there? I'm here. Okay. Now, Obama, mm-hmm. it sounds like he has the plans and everything, but remember, I'm, I'm a Condi Rice person, mm-hmm. and I feel his speech. I feel everything that he's doing, but I don't think he's, you know, I think that, that she's the only adult in the room. I think him and McCain are both like children. I don't think they're taking it seriously what has to be I done. I want to talk to Diane that's mm-hmm. online. And I, she likes Condi Rice for VP. What would Condi Rice do with the homelessness that's in here? How you doing, Diane? This is WBT. Hey, I'm doing great. You're on News Talk 111. How you doing tonight? What's going on? Talk to me. I'm doing great, and I've never talked on um, the radio but once before in my life, but I love the idea of Condoleezza Rice as a running mate. Yeah, I, I think she would be a good running mate for four years and a good so president for eight. have Ms. D back on the line? I'm on the line. Okay, so... What would you recommend the average person to be able to do to help, you know, what you're trying to put together? Well, you know, all the above would help. But, you know, I think, and I think I speak on behalf of the women that we serve, what we really need is employment opportunities for the women that that we do serve. So they would be able to provide for their own um, families. But in the meantime, uh, we serve a very indigent population at the Center of Hope, one of the few shelters that do not charge any fees. Well, I guess my uh, I guess the question how I want to put it is how do I build trust to give you my money? I really feel like there's enough money that gets there and you're a good administrator and you only have like they may give you ten dollars and you make sure that ten dollars is spent the right way because you're in a smaller market. But people being exposed to hearing that, you know, like the Katrina victims didn't get the items that were set aside for them or people didn't get the clothing or things that were set aside for the people in need. And maybe they feel that they're not the money's not going to get to the right person. Right. And I, I think it's unfortunate. And I talked about this on uh, Friday you know, with the uh, situation with the United Way. I think it's unfortunate for nonprofits that are doing the right thing that there is a level of distrust amongst donors and, and people are concerned and want to make sure that their dollars are getting to uh, those folks that we say that we're serving. One of the things that we do at the Salvation Army is that you can restrict your donations. You can say, Welcome I want my donation to buy towels for the shelter. Radio, we have an obligation to do that. FM. You can say, I want my I got on the line, to for which is Hip Hop's AP, which is our news source, which is our so place where we get news and information. Uh, do I have on the line sure Mr. Grouchy Greg from allhiphop.com? What's up, what's up, what's up? How y'all doing out there? Charlotte, what's up? This is Charlotte and, and the world, man. This is going on the web. It's hooked up into online. We're all over the place, man. But we had to talk to you because you're like the news line for hip-hop. This is a news radio show for hip-hop, and I get a lot of my news and information from you. So I wanted to make sure that people knew who you were, knew who you guys were, and knew what you were doing so, you know, we kind of can connect. So when I'm talking, they can look online with you guys and we can kind of do it together. So w- w- tell me about allhiphop.com. What's that? Tell me about allhiphop.com. Well, allhiphop.com is the world's biggest urban outlet on, in the world, in the universe, <laughs> as far as we <laughs> know it. Um, you know, we do 7 million unique visitors per month. And uh, basically, it's uh, a, a website that's dedicated to hip-hop and urban news, reviews, interviews, um, audio, video, it's like everything, if you're into hip-hop culture, it's everything and anything you uh, might like. And it goes so much deeper into the culture beyond just reporting on what the artists are doing, you know what I mean? Mm-hmm. Well, how did you guys start it? Well, I started it in 1990, around 1996. Well, let me backtrack. I, I've been running, I, I ran a record label out in Delaware where I'm from and where okay. I still reside. Okay. Um, although, although I got fa- a lot of family in Charlotte. Cause I hey, hey, I went to I Delaware mean, State right University in Dover, partner, Delaware. Who is a graduate of the University of Delaware with a degree in English, saw what, what 
you know, he was doing something on the Internet as similar to what I was trying to do. And so we just combined forces and we was like, yo, 97, we started it and we started all hip hop. Well, how do you feel that because this is this this, I ain't going to lie, man, I start from the rumors and work backwards. Mm -hmm. (laughs) And it's like, how do you feel that people are actually going to your site and taking information and moving it to like Fox is taken from you and CNN is taken from you and they're not quoting from reading it from that source? Like, how do you guys feel about that? Because you are a legitimate news source. You know, that's how I'm shouting you out. Like, this is where we get our information from to talk to our crowd. How do you guys feel like that? Because I feel hip hop has matured enough that we're all business people. And I want to talk to everybody in that manner. As a businessman in hip hop, how do you feel that people are like basically stealing from you? Right. Well, you know, over the past 10 years, you kind of learn that those things actually help you, especially in in certain regards like content. You know, nobody has a lock on news. So if I write a news story up and it's exclusive to all hip-hop, if you decide you want to rewrite it and put it in your own words and explain and comment it on your own, there's nothing I can do about that. You know, whether they quote us as a source or not, you know, for me, people always end up finding Um, the source. That really helps solidify our credibility okay, as well, legitimate We're going to quote you every time that we do a news story from this station. We got a million listeners, and we're going to quote you every time. We're going to go into this break, and if you could stay on, then we probably take some calls from some break. listeners, and then we'll come back and we'll have some more conversation with Grouchy Greg of allhiphop.com. 11.10 a.m., WBT News Talk Radio. It's Ike Jackson Report.